live a life of your own design. Live a life that you really want to live. Men live a life of your own design. Live a life that you really want to live. Otherwise, believe me or not, you live upon what other people think that you are supposed to be. And that is technically stupid of you. Simply because your life path is very unique and nobody can just tell you what your life path is unless you are the one who is plotting that path for yourself. You are the only one who has the that is your point of genius that is your unique point of genius as a person you know that is your point of genius to a point that nobody else knows or believes or even think that what you are thinking exists and that is it you should never allow somebody or anybody to determine the path that you walk in life regardless who or he is who she or he is regardless if they are your parents <coughs> regardless if they are your friends no you are the one who knows what you want with your life and until you step up and just live up for that and then disregard everything that every other person that is saying that is the only point at which You'll be in a position to go forward to the goals, to the ambitions, to all the aspirations that you have in your brain. Because believe me or not, this is like your alignment to purpose, you know. And believe me or not as well, purpose brings fulfillment, of which if your purpose was ordained by somebody else on you, Believe me or not, it won't be satisfactory to you. It won't bring you a sense of satisfaction in your life simply because you are living under somebody else's terms. And that is it. You have to define your life according to how God from above wants you to live. Because as a matter of fact, all of these things that we have in life, all of these aspirations, all of these dreams, everything, they are all supplied from above and until you are at a position to acknowledge that God is the one who gave you all these things and you have to live forward towards them because as a matter of fact God won't bring you something that you you will take it cheaply or something that you achieve cheaply you know as a matter of fact God will give you the freaking lessons you know he will give you the raw materials he will not give you the whole chair, a whole chair. He will just give you a tree so that you may think of how to shape a chair from that tree. And that is a fact. The same thing with your purpose, the same thing with anything that you want to achieve. Whatever you have is all that you need. Whatever you have is all that you need. Because God supplied to you whatever you need. He didn't supply to you what you want. He supplied to you whatever you need to thrive in this life. Until you understand that, that is the only point when you will be at a position to walk directly towards your goal and ambitions. As a matter of fact, most of us live in a situation where our destinies, our paths are decided by our significant others. People who don't even know where we are headed in life. People who are displaying their path on ours simply because they failed to achieve theirs. And that is fault, you guys. That is fault. They are obscuring you from seeing the the greatness, the the power that what you can achieve. That is your purpose. They are obscuring you from seeing that simply because. They want to 
reflect their their pass on your path simply because they fail to achieve their years and that is stupid you would not to allow that you know you have to be at a position to understand that your path is very unique as a human being your dreams your ambitions your everything are your own point of genius and nobody else has such kind of thinking has such kind of ideas nobody else on earth you're just the only one it just exists in a unison you know there's no one else with whatever you have in life and that is it that is a matter of fact you guys just go out there don't allow a person to define your path in life just look above and be in a position to ask god what did you ordain me to do and then do that do that you guys be freaking awesome i'm so freaking cool today i'm so thankful yeah see you in the freaking next video subscribe if you haven't like share and comment to be so freaking to mean the world for me i'm super grateful adios